All right, this is second grade, module six, lesson 19. And in this lesson, we're gonna continue talking about evens and odds. This time we are gonna be talking about the word odd as opposed to just not even. Uh, we're gonna be studying uh, patterns. We're gonna be looking for patterns. We're gonna be looking uh, for really, we're gonna be seeing the beauty of math not, instead of just learning about vocabulary. This is a great opportunity for students to play and explore and fall in love with math. So let's get started. All right, so suppose we start with all the numbers written, oh, let's say from 1 to 15. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stack up these rectangles. So there's 1, 2, and then we've got 3, 4, then we've got 5, 6, and my numbers are not perfectly lined up, 7, Eight. Let's see if I can fix that. Can I move? There we go. That's looking pretty good. So that's 9, then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and so let's stop there. So what we can see is we can see, well, here's 2 to go with these two. Here's 4 to go with these two plus these two, right? And then if we have two more, we get 6, and that's really all of these. And then here's 8 and 10, and here's 12, and then here's 14. So really what we want is we're showing that the even numbers are the ones that, of course, as in previous videos, uh, are the ones that have partners, where everybody has a partner. And if we were to kind of take off, yikes, if we were to take off like this one, all of a sudden we would have an odd number because this guy wouldn't, this guy would no longer have a partner, right? And so this is just another way for students to see the concept of evens and odds. We also want them to notice the pattern. Odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, and that they alternate. We also want students to see that if you have an even number and you take away one, it's odd. If you have an even number and you add one, it's odd. And that's the kind of stuff that we're looking for in uh, this slide. So here we're just going to be skip counting the columns in the array. So you got right here is two. Here's another 2, but we're not going to write 2. We're going to call that 4, and then 6, and then 8, and then, whoa. <laughs> and then that was a silly way to write 10. Um, let's see. Let's erase that, and let's make that 10. And then 12, and then 14, and 16, and 18, and 20. And so if you want, here's an idea. Is you could say 1, 2. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now you can see the skip counting again in a slightly different way. Thirteen, fourteen, etc. So we really want students to start to recognize that even numbers end with either a two, a four, a six, an eight, or a zero. And we want students to start recognizing that pattern in the ones place. Here we're going to fill in the missing even numbers on the number path. So you've got 18, and then you're going to go up to 20, and then what are we going to do next? Now students are going to want to say, of course, 21, and then 22, but then this would be 20, not 26, right? So Because we're only supposed to be writing down the even numbers. And so that means this is going to be 22, and then you might whisper count 23, and then 24, and then whisper 25, and then 26, and 27, and then 28, etc. So you might do a whisper count, or like low is 1, loud is 2, low is 3, loud is 4, low is 5, loud is 6, etc. You could keep going that way too. And here's where we're really just solidifying that concept of a pattern. The idea of if you have 4 and you add 1, you get 5. And then 4 is even and 5 is odd. So if you 
add one to an even, you get an odd. All right, so we could take a look at that same concept uh, with 8 minus 1 equaling 7. Well, 8 is even. That's supposed to be a 7. Even. And we know that 7 is odd. So if you ha start with an even number and you subtract 1, you get an odd. So we would write even and odd right here. So parents and teachers, the idea of this is we want students to be playing with the numbers. We want them to notice patterns, and some of those patterns are going to be geometrical. Some of them are going to be no numerical, like this. Some of them are going to be logical. So we want students to be playing with math and coming up to the, uh, with these conclusions on their own. And that wraps up 2nd grade, Module 6, Lesson 19, Investigating Patterns of Evens and Odds.